I'm TJ Cozen. We own a real estate investment company that focuses on single family investments in the Texas marketplace. We do a pretty high volume of wholesales, wholesales, and flips. In our business, one of the biggest questions we get in the market is how do we do our wholesales? Let's talk about breaking down what the word is. So we have in the marketplace, we have wholesaling and wholesaling depends on your market, but generally you have full ARV times somewhere between 75 and 80% minus repairs equals the wholesale price. So you can sell it for when you're going to wholesale the property. For example, if you have a property that's worth maybe $100,000 times 80%, that's $80,000. And then it needs $30,000 in repairs. $50,000 is what you need to sell it for to an end buyer. And then from 50, you contract, you have to contract this property for less than $50,000 in order to get it to, uh, you know, in order to make your profit. So if you contract it for $40,000, then you're making $10,000 on this property. Not a bad deal. But what we're seeing in the marketplace is more and more competition, harder and harder to get these kind of high margin deals. And it's, uh, you know, you're kind of leaving money on the table sometimes if you implement the strategy. So that's where wholesaling comes in. The wholesaling prices, the retail prices, and then we get the word wholesaling from taking the whole tail. The retail pricing, we shouldn't have to go over. That's uh, pick three comps, high end of the market, and that's what your house should sell for if it's flipped. But how do you price? How do you price a wholesale, and what are the advantages of wholesaling? There's a lot of advantages to wholesaling. There's a couple of disadvantages first. Let's talk about the disadvantages. The disadvantages are when we take down a wholesale deal in our company, you have to actually, disadvantages, you have to buy it. You have to have the money to buy it. And you have the associated risk. So you have a certain level of risk at each point of the way. You have a risk of actually owning the property here. You have a risk of capital exposure here. And you have a risk of time here. And time is both a plus and a minus. It's a minus because if you hold the property too long, the holding cost is going to eat into your profits, but it's also a benefit because it gives you more flexibility when you go to sell it. So those are the disadvantages of the strategy. So advantages of the strategy are one is flexibility. So flexibility in terms of closing, in terms of your buyer's list, in terms of options, once you have the property. So that leads to options and these lead to more money in your pocket.